Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. The sun is shining, come on, get happy. I'm wanting to develop best practices. Um, and I've been working at a very early point with scripts and, and seeing where that can go. For me, this is a project that we can take from that very first idea straight through. So, for me as well, being very new to writing, that having this fantastic resource of having two actors who are brilliant, who mm -hmm. I can just go, well, you just read this, I can see what this is like. And a fantastic director who can say, right, well, this doesn't sound like the character that you wrote in this scene. Mm -hmm. That's really great for me. The other thing um, to mention about Lindsay, um, in particular as a writer, Lindsay's background is in contemporary theatre. She worked from a devising position first and foremost. She's not the type of writer who will sit in a room and just wants to write, 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 write. You do. But, we, but, but she also likes that interaction at an early point, and that's why we facilitated that at that early point. Because it's, it seems bonkers to me to sit in a room and write on your own when you're writing for actors and you're doing a show. I was like, it just seems counterproductive to just be alone and, and I think it informed a lot to have this sort of a team. Ultimately, so, it's the writer's job to yeah, impose yeah. a dramatic arc on the piece, isn't it? Yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah, or the like team, that, that somebody has to do if it. If it was a devising process, that would be completely different. We'd all take responsibility for building that story and that and, <coughs> and through exercises and, and whatever, which way we did that, but this isn't. And this yeah. is very much a Lindsay's <coughs> fact so that it will end up being her story. Yeah. With what we do in the space, although we we don't we discuss, we explore, and we question, but we never actually generate the ideas as to where it's going to go. That always goes back to Lindsay. So um, we have an open dialogue in the space, which it all feeds back into you and your ideas, and what we're doing with that information is questioning, analysing and seeing. So although we're, <coughs> we're heavily involved in that, we, we're very aware that we're not creating this mm. whole story or creating these characters. You just keep giving a script and go, try that out there, all right then. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's in that analysing of it, which is um, which is the work that, that Wiley's well, telling yeah. to analyse the script and to go through that. Um, we're doing it in a slightly different way because it's not always script that we're analysing. Sometimes mm. it's information that Lindsay's bringing into the space, so it's an idea, and and we go, okay, in this in this world as we know it from the information you have given us, that's a question that needs answering, or that's an idea that that we're not very clear on, so we need more mm. from it. Um, so yeah, and I think um, mm. I feel that. At, at some point in its development, we will um, let that all settle and lie, and we'll go back to the table with the script from this development mm -hmm. and go, right, forget what we know, what's on the page, and go back to that, which is where we actually first started, the very first time we picked it up. So we're in this very middle mm -hmm. ground where we're, we're assisting as we feel the writer and how you want to be assisted. Mm -hmm. um, some of that's in doing exercises, but it's not as um, direct as, say, devising where we're getting up and giving giving over ideas. So is that clear? Does that yeah, confuse That makes perfect yeah. sense. As long as, as, as long as Lindsay knows that, that in the end it's her own vision that, she, yeah. that is at work here mm -hmm. and not anybody else's, and that, yeah. that, that there is a point in which she will say no. I am the writer, yeah. I am writing this play. Yeah. And, and when, when you come to that point, I, I think I should say to you, out of experience really I'm saying is, when you come to that point you must be really strong about what you want. Do you know? And until the thing is composed and created and ready to be put on the table, you should regard this as your research. And I think that's mm -hmm. fine. I think that's no problem yeah. to talk about that. But there has to come a point in which you just establish your ownership of it. Because I'm in that developing of it as an idea of a way of working as well, and I'm laying it because I'm doing other projects that are in this vein as well, I'm sort of 
cherry picking and taking that into its stride. And to be honest, I hate to use the word, and I'm very sorry, but it's going to be organic. Mm. <laughs> as a case of, I think, so long as we keep our dialogue and our communications open as to where we are, mm. um, and we've got a very honest um, relationship with that, and we know how the room sets, and we know, you know you can always say, yeah, get lost, I'm yeah. done. Um, <laughs> To a point, yeah. She can put that. She, yeah, like, 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 in the nicest possible way. And, and to take that, to take back that ownership is always yeah. the plan. Um, in the way we get there, I think, is, is where it's collaborative because I'm learning as. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm developing in a way that's different to you, but it's assisting one another, and it just mm. see, it would seem silly to not do that. Mm. I'm facilitating, yeah. I'm setting the space, I'm, I'm posing the questions and I'm hopefully creating an atmosphere where it can be creative and safe and fun to, to explore, but I'm not directing properly, I'm not in that full directing mode, so yeah. I'd like to do that bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then your, your <laughs> role will be clear. And then my role will be clear. So at the minute we're all yeah. aiming and pulling in the right, in the same direction, yeah. Yeah. we're just supporting each other in a different way than what our traditional role yeah. is. Yeah, okay. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. Hello. I'm Mia. Mia, how come? Would you like me to say about Mia Sackhouse? So 10th generation of the second line, Princess of Edinburgh, died 1330. She led her people to safety while her castle burned. I don't find her happy ending. Do you believe in fate? I do. I believe each of us has a part. Life change tracks laid out in front of us. Your home is gone. And you will not be returning. Your train is derailed. And there is no one to help you back on course. Life will be alone. Destination drive C242. Designation, the park. My colourful name is Benton. I hate the system. The sun is shining, come on, get happy. The Lord is waiting to take your hand. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. We're going to be going to the promised land. We're heading across the river. Wash your sins away in the tide. It's quiet and peaceful on the other side. say I really enjoyed that. I really struggle sometimes with text based pieces to decide for because I feel like you're captured by them but I want to hear a lot from that. Really, I really like that bounce of like hope and then be taken away. Like so like maybe things could be dying and coming alive again. I like this idea of like the bluebells. I love the idea of nature will have I mean, it's very simple, it's, it's a bench and two people, but this is a whole other world and, and that hope and dying is, is very much part of that mm. world without even knowing any of the history of it. It's <laughs> very, yeah, um, and I do think that will help tell the story and give us more um, mm. that's even beyond the page. Yeah, into the hole. Uh, yeah I, I really liked um, the monologue at the beginning, the difference between the two characters and how the juxtaposition actually kept your interest, the fact you are so different. <coughs> and I appreciate the second half was red, so that was harder to get across, but for me, I got lost in it. But yeah, it was definitely the patter, which was just lovely at the beginning. I'm interested by them, I'm interested by what happens to them. I like the way they communicate, it's really interesting. Um, and there's somewhere for them both to go mm. and for you to write, for you to work together on. I don't know what that is, and that's for you to say. Because when it was going on, I think it's, it's that because it, that bit was so um, eloquent. Elo I can't say the word, it was f***ing good. <laughs> Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. The sun is shining, come on, get happy.